It's fine, Hanawa. I'm a dead man. Met my end three years ago. Don't worry, I won't hold a grudge. Everyone else always comes first. And you're always ready to give it all up for them, aren't you? How on earth has that attitude not gotten you killed yet? Hanua! The only reason that I'm still alive right now is because this man saved my life. And it wasn't just once. He saved me two times over now. If that's how you want it. No! What are you doing, Hanawa? Pick up the damn gun! I was prepared to die today. However, this is something I cannot do. I just can't bring myself to kill you. All right, then. Don't! <laughs> Didn't think you had it in you. Look at that. You've passed the test. Both of you. Boss. We appreciate you coming all this way. Hear you, son. Hanawa-kun. Please excuse our methods. It is clear now. The two of you have forged a bond beyond rank or title. Those who achieve as much are the true pillars of the Daidoji. What's this all about? The duty of manager and agent is to know one another better than anyone else. Care and concern are unimportant. But Kiryu-san, it's quite plain to see that Hanawa-kun is more to you than a mere manager. Were that not the case, your story would have ended just a moment ago. Hanawa-kun's gun was loaded. I made sure of it. How about we find out? Hanawa, pull the trigger on the old man. This is no time for jokes. I'm still trying to settle my nerves. This decision was unusually lenient for the Daidoji, but there's a reason for it. Right, Suruno-san? You again. Properties belonging to the Omi Alliance. Front companies owned by the Watase family. That's at least 50 billion, you know. And the boss left it all to me. So happened to also be the price that Daidoji gave for your life, Kiryu-san. All this just to get you to join us. That's right. 50 billion's the type of sum that can bring a man back from the dead. It was certainly enough to convince the Daidoji to find some flexibility. But we needed something more. So all it bought you was a chance. A chance for Hanawa-kun to show us what we needed to see. Looks like our little gamble paid off. Now the terms. You lend your services to the Watase family for the extent of their job. Kazuma Kiryu's survival will be temporarily disclosed to them, and only them. It will be difficult, and it will be risky. I presume that won't pose a problem for you? So the Daidoji gets 50 billion, and I'm the only one that gets my hands dirty. You are free to refuse. It makes no difference to me. We'll simply return the 50 billion, and you'll simply have to die. You and Suruno-san. I get it. This isn't really a choice. But... I have one condition. Kill you, son. Very well. Let's hear it. Spying on the kids in Okinawa. That stops now. 
Right now, you can wipe them out with a single phone call. So if you don't accept these terms, then I choose death. With me gone, there'd be no need to keep watch at morning glory. Isn't that right? Let's say I do agree to stop surveilling them. How will you be sure that I've followed through? You do realize you can't know for certain. When it comes to keeping promises, I trust the faction. You wouldn't be here talking otherwise. Indeed. <laughs> we certainly would not. I accept your condition. You have my word on it. Well, that's that, then. The deal's done. Yeah, seems that way. Was it not enough that I spared your life? You had to go and make demands, too? And that's not even mentioning the 50 billion. Huh. <laughs> Either you're just that good, or Watase's just that stupid. Hey, dickhead! Time for you to shut your trap! Anyone ever tell you you talk too fucking much? I don't see why they would. Goddamn idiot. Nobody's saying it to your face is all. Well, that's just absurd. Oh. <laughs> Kiryu-san. I'm not gonna rush you into anything. I want you focused on getting better, yeah? I'll call you in a few days. And I'll fill Akame in, too. Paying her a visit might calm your nerves, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> 